And now uh, let's start uh, learning about autophagy. And this slide shows the process of autophagy. As I mentioned earlier, autophagy is a phenomenon that occurs within cells. Autophagy is known to be triggered by different signals. And when cells receive these signals, uh, small flattened membranes start to appear within cells. Uh, these membranes expand to form structure a bit like a cup uh, before finally closing to form spherical membrane vesicles. In this process, uh, various cellular constituents are sequestered into these vesicles, uh, which are called autophagosomes. The autophagosome then fuses with a lysosome in mammalian cells or a vacuole in yeast and plant cells. Uh, since lysosomes and vacuoles contain a number of degradation enzymes, the contents of the autophagosome are degraded by these enzymes after fusion with these organelles. Uh, this is a basic mechanism of autophagy, and we often compare the autophagosome uh, to a garbage truck that collects and transports waste. Uh, while the lysosome and vacuole can be thought of as a disassembly or recycling plant. Uh, let's look at the process of autophagy again, uh, using this uh, cross-section view of the interior of a cell. A flattened membrane vesicle expands and becomes spherical before finally closing to form an autophagosome. In this step of membrane closure, an originally single continuous membrane separates into two membranes, the outer and the inner membranes of the autophagosome, uh, which is therefore a double membrane vesicle. After this, the outer membrane of the autophagosome uh, fuses with the membrane of the vacuole or lysosome. Uh, resulting in the release of the inner membrane vesicle, uh, which is now called an autophagic body, into the inside of the vacuole. As degradation enzymes are uh, within the vacuole, the autophagic body membrane and the contents are immediately degraded. Uh, next, uh, we'll have a look at what autophagy actually looks like in cells uh, using electron microscope images. Uh, in this image, uh, we can see autophagy in a cross section of a yeast cell. Uh, here you can see a glowing cup shaped membrane uh, corresponding to this stage of autophagosome formation. On the right side in this picture, uh, you can see a vacuole. The vacuole membrane is visible here as this line uh, with a lumen on this side. On the cytoplasmic side, you can also see a complete autophagosome attached to the vacuole membrane as it fuses with the vacuole uh, for release of its contents. <coughs> Uh, this electron microscope picture was obtained using a different technique, uh, which allows us to observe uh, cellular structures in three dimensions. Uh, here is a vacuole membrane, and here is the autophagosome. Uh, we can observe the exact moment of fusion between the autophagosome and the vacuole. Uh, we can also see uh, several sp spherical structures, autophagic bodies, within the vacuole. Uh, autophagic bodies are rapidly broken down in normal cells, but this cell lacks a vacuole enzyme responsible for their destruction. So, so in this case, autophagic bodies accumulate in the vacuole. Uh, in this cross-section image, uh, this round area is one of several vacuoles uh, containing uh, several autophagic bodies. Uh, we can see that uh, the contents of the autophagic bodies are indistinguishable 
uh, forms cytoplasm. Uh, this form uh, forms part of the evidence that our phagosomes randomly sequester portions of the cytoplasm under starvation conditions. Uh, meanwhile, uh, if we look inside this mouse cell that has been treated with a drug that impairs the function of mitochondria, uh, we find that uh, damaged mitochondria are selectively engulfed by all phagosomes, as marked by orange arrowheads. Uh, again, uh, looking inside the mammalian cell, uh, this movie of a living mouse cell obtained using a fluorescence microscope shows that uh, bacteria uh, that have invaded the cell can be captured by all phagosomes. In this way, autophagy uh, not only degrades random portions of the cytoplasm, but is also able to selectively eliminate unnecessary or dangerous material that arises within cells even invading foreign, foreign cells like bacteria. Uh, these observations allow us to define two types of autophagy, uh, which are called non-selective autophagy and selective autophagy. In non-selective non autophagy, uh, cytoplasmic components are randomly sequestered by the autophagosome and degraded in lysosomes or vacuoles. In selective autophagy, uh, specific targets are engulfed by the olfagosome in a target-specific manner uh, for their removal from the cytoplasm. Uh, 